Hi, this is TJ with Piano Clubhouse. Today I'm going to show you I Will Find a Way by Fred Hammond. It's in the key of D flat. All the black keys, all the black keys. So, uh, the song pretty much doesn't really have an introduction. It starts right on the first chord and goes right into the verse, the solo. Uh, so, first chord is on a, and before we get started, let me give you about three or four different chords I'm going to be using on a regular basis, and I, it'd be much, much easier if I just uh, show you what the chords are at the beginning, write them down, uh, memorize them, that way I can just call out the chord name from here on out, and it'll make learning the song much faster. So, from now on when I say the one chord, I'm going to be talking about the D flat major chord, D flat, F, and A flat. And I like to add my second notes to my one chords. So this is going to be my one chord. When I say one chord, this is what I'm talking about. When I say four chord, I'm going to be talking about this chord. This is a G flat major seventh. Um, <clears throat> the notes in it are D flat, F, G flat, and B flat. Uh, two, five, one chord. I call this the 2-5-1 because it's the second note of the scale, the fifth note of the scale, and the first note of the scale. E flat, A flat, and D flat. Uh, let's see, a couple more. The 5 chord. This is just an A flat major chord inverted one time. The notes are C, E flat, and A flat. And the last one is a D flat suspended chord. D flat. G flat and A flat. You can play this E flat if you like. It's up to you, however you, uh, whatever sounds best to you. But those are the basic chords we're going to use. One chord, four chord, five chord, two five one chord, and suspended chord. Now I'll of course tell you um, what bass note is going to go with those chords, okay? So let's get started with the verse. Starts out with a one chord over D flat, and you can play this fifth if you like, this A flat. Next, the left, the left hand's gonna go down to C. You can leave this A flat here, leave this fifth here. Right hand, we're just gonna drop this D flat down to C and raise this F, and we're at the five chord already, okay? We're not far. That's the first chord. going to go to B flat and B flat and F. Right hand goes back to the one chord. So we were here. Left hand for this next movement movement is going to go C, D flat, F, E flat. Okay. Right hand. When it goes to C, go to the five chord. It goes to D flat, back to the one chord. When you go to the F, let's go to this two five one chord. Then you go to the E flat, go to the four chord. Okay. Then the next group of three notes is B flat, C, D flat. When you go to the B flat, let's go to this four chord. And let's do it without this F, just make it a straight G flat major chord. Over C, back to the 5 chord, and when you get to the D flat, the 1 chord, okay? So all my movements from my right hand, it's all right here. Went to the 1 chord, went to the 5 chord, went back to the 1 chord, then 2, 5, 1. This is the biggest move we've had to do up to this 2, 5, 1. Back to the 4 chord. I'm just doing it one more time. Back to B flat. Right hand goes back to the one chord. Here's the move. Five chord, one chord, two, five, one, four chord. And this happens a second time. Back down to C. This is all the same. Back up to the one chord, left hand goes down to B flat. 
Here's where it changes a little bit. The left hand, the first time went C, D flat, F, E flat. The second time though, it goes B flat. The move is, this is the same, C, D flat, F. Instead of going to E flat, the second time we go up to G. Okay. G, then A, B flat. Okay, that's the second time through. So let's go back. Okay, so the second time the left hand goes to G, the second time through the right hand, this E flat stays, because we were on a two, five, one. The, this E flat stays. These two will shift over to the left to an E flat major chord. E flat, G, B flat. Add that F if you like. Next, left hand goes to A. Right hand moves to the right a whole step to an F major chord. F, A, C, and a G. Next, right hand is going to go to a, a B flat major chord. Uh, you can do it kind of whichever inversion you like. F, B flat, D are your primary notes over B flat. Or you can invert it down here. Okay. Next, the next three notes, G flat, F, E flat. Over the G flat, right hand goes four chord. Over the F, two, five, one, four chord over the E flat. Okay. Next, left hand goes up to G flat. Right hand is going to go D flat, E flat, G flat. And A, this is almost a suspended chord. This was a suspended chord, remember I showed you. Except this A flat is up to A. This is over G flat. Hold it for four counts. One, two, three, four. Now the left hand goes to A flat, and the right hand moves this to a straight suspended chord. Bring this A to A flat. One. Hold that for two counts. And then just drop this A or raise this A flat back up to A natural. Okay. So let's run through the first part of the, of the song. Two, one chord over D flat. Five chord over C and A flat. Back to the one chord over B flat. Thank you. 